Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Right now I feel that you're dealing with someone here. First of all, there's heartbreak. 100%, okay? This person out here cannot forget and cannot forgive. So if you've done something wrong to them, they can't forgive you. And if they've broken your heart, then they cannot forget the words that they said. Something was said, something was done. There were intentions here. There was a lot of negative talk, okay? Or there could also be negative self-talk that this person is doing right now, which is stopping this person from communicating with you directly. I feel with the Queen of Swords here, this person here in their intentions, they probably want to clarify a lot of things here. They want to think very logically. They want to be very straightforward and they want to have a lot of blunt communication here. At the same time here, this person also wants to rush in. Okay, this person could be somebody who's at a distance from you. Either they want to travel towards you or they want to travel with you. But I'm getting someone here who probably, you know, is very, very hurt. Although they're very hurt from within, they still want uh, to reignite the spark in this connection here, okay? But eventually, that's what they want here, is what I'm getting here. But right now, this person seems to be a little isolated. This person seems to be deeply isolated, very, very detached, you know? They're trying to think a lot about what, when, where, how, why, what's really going on with this connection. They can't really get it. The communication is what is on their mind. Their intentions, it is, they want clear communication. Anything, whatever it is, just put it on the table out here, okay? And they want to cut through the bullshit and they want to come towards you talking like, you know what, hey, this, this, this is what I want here. Can we work this out? Yes or no? Uh, let's see you on the other hand. Okay, so the first card we have is the death card here. Scorpio, I think that this ending that has been created between you both, right? Whatever ended between you both, if you guys cut calls or if you let this person go, right? You're going through a huge transformation. You're going through a huge change is what I'm getting here. Huge change. I feel this ending with this person out here has made a very big significant change to your life to the way you think to the way you are you've almost erased and deleted everything that you knew about yourself or the way your approach was towards love or your approach towards your connection was with the ten of swords here you feel backstabbed betrayed cheated lied to this uh painful ending um has got you exhausted Okay, I feel that you have mentally hit rock bottom with this connection here, okay? But you do realize that from here, it's only up. There is no, it couldn't get more worse here. I feel with the four of wands here, your intentions are stability, security, marriage, commitment, long term out here. Um, you do want this with this person so bad, okay? But there are chances that even if this person makes you happily ever after, there are still chances that you're choosing to shut the chapter and walk away from this person here. Is what I'm getting. Because this person here probably has made you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And they're just not doing anything about it. And you're kind of fed up of waiting. You want to get yourself out of this loop. You want to get yourself out of this uh, stagnant energy. Okay. And you want to move forward is what I'm getting. Wow, I still see that. I still see you closing the cycle, Scorpio. See, you're so determined to end it, Scorpio, with this person. I feel that you are making up a choice. You're making a decision, uh, which you want all this while here. But I feel you're making a very firm, strong choice and decision to move away from this person here. It's like you're literally taking action. All this while you weren't taking action, but this time around here, you're very firm about taking action. And um, it's almost like you want to do uh, what do you think is right? I don't think anyone right now can influence you. Okay, so for you right now, you're in that energy where you're just an extremist. It's like things are black or white. Some things are yes or a fucking no. And for right now, you're pretty much sure that you are set in your ways and um, according to you, you don't really care much about what people think uh, about you, but you want to take action and you want to cut this person off here. Like I said, you're cutting cords with this person here. You are choosing to teach this person a lesson, not like literally, but I think you're choosing to um, cut cords with this person <coughs> by being very stern, very logical, very practical. And you're just choosing to uh, implement this decision this time around here. It's like literal action. It's not even like you're ready to take action. I think you already have done it for a few of you. 
and for that those of you you are almost on the verge of cutting this person off for good from your life okay because you want something uh, fair you want something balanced you want something um where there's an equal give and take here you want something that you deserve here okay so you probably have almost probably left it to the universe that this person will get their karma wherever they are here but you know that um you deserve more and i think you're choosing to walk away here it's a decision which is tough it's a strenuous decision a decision it's something that is very stressful it's a it's more like you know what you don't want to stay into that turbulent waters anymore you want to move into a better place you want to get out of a dark place you want to get out of a dark situation and move into calmer waters although although i'm not saying that you're doing this willingly you're not doing this but you because because you want to i think you're doing this because you just have to that's what you're doing you got no choice this person here if they're going to keep coming in with that lame as night of wands here it's just going to be no point no matter how much their heart breaks you still got to do what you got to do right and like i said all this while you were resisting an ending you were resisting a change you were probably still dragging a dead horse all this while okay hoping wishing praying that things will probably get back together or things will get better here although this person is coming back around here i think for you it's a big fuck you know I think you're just closing the chapter out here with this person here choosing to say goodbye to them <clears throat> because all you want is stability okay you want commitment or you wanted commitment with this person here you wanted something long term here but um I guess in your mind you're like if I'm not getting it from this person here that's fine I'll walk away I'll get someone better out here but you're choosing not to compromise I think all this while you were compromising and staying in a position or a place that was familiar or that you probably uh, knew you know or probably which offered you some kind of security here okay but only because you knew the person here okay now you're okay to move on to a better place uh, okay to move forward here okay Yeah, okay to move towards new love is also what I'd say. But while you're doing all this, this person's turning and coming back around here. I feel this person has thought very logically about what they want with you, and this time around, in their intentions here, they want to talk very straightforward to you. But my point is, are you going to be there to listen to them? Because that's like a pretty much a flat out block, like a flat out no. But <clears throat> some of you could also be getting married. But yeah, you made up your mind, Scorpio. I think you made up your mind, and you're just choosing to move away from a situation with a heavy heart. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this reading resonates, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.